Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Russian troops in Ukraine, financial assistance to Kyiv from Japan, according to the Ukrainian government, has exceeded $4.5 billion. Tokyo ranks fourth among allies in terms of budget support. In December 2023, Tokyo agreed to sell weapons produced under license to the country of origin. Thus, the export of Patriot missiles from Japan to the United States allowed Washington to transfer more of them to Kyiv. Before the meeting of these leaders of the two states in April, the parties are discussing the prospects for expanding cooperation. Japanese companies are ready to carry out maintenance and repair of American military equipment. Japan, which adopted a pacifist constitution after its loss in World War II, has provided Ukraine with non-lethal aid as well as assistance and loan guarantees worth billions of dollars, but not weapons. Loosening Tokyo's restrictions on military exports could help the US and European nations send arms to Ukraine in the short term, while in the long term it could widen the opportunities for Japan to sell arms overseas from a Bloomberg publication with a reference to the Yomiuri newspaper. Japan's neighbor, North Korea, is an ally of Russia. Both international carriers, Moscow and Pyongyang, benefit from their cooperation. Russia receives weapons to continue the war against Ukraine, while North Korea gets economic assistance and space for maneuver in the international arena. This seriously changes the balance of power in the region, and this can have a very serious impact on the security of the region, because today no one knows how far this cooperation will go, and what is very seriously worrying South Korea in particular is whether Russia will provide the technologies that North Korea needs to strengthen its military potential in exchange for weapons. Relations between North and South Korea are already tense. Worsened after North Korea began supplying Russia with weapons. The policies of the two countries are diametrically opposite. South Korea traditionally cooperates with the United States in the field of security, supports the territorial integrity of Ukraine and helps Kyiv resist the aggressor. Despite the fact that the export and trade law prohibits the supply of weapons to countries where there is conflict, South Korea has tried to find ways in which it can help Ukraine, and in particular artillery shells from South Korea were delivered to the United States of America, and they in turn send the shells from their warehouses to Ukraine. There is also information that Poland received artillery shells too, and then also sent them to Ukraine. Analysts are confident that the outcome of Russia's war against Ukraine is important for Asian countries. If the world sees that an aggressive dictatorial regime is capable of winning, states with territorial claims similar to those of Russia may receive carte blanche. The implications are greatest for Taiwan. China wants to absorb it by force if necessary. To Taiwanese, the parallels between what Mr. Putin is doing to Ukraine and what China's Xi Jinping might do to Taiwan are stuck, especially as the two men claim a friendship with no limits. China has been up in the military tempo with incursions into Taiwan's air and sea space. In response, in August, the Taiwanese government unveiled a record defense budget equivalent to 2.6% of GDP, not enough to deter China, yet bigger proportionally than most of Europe. From a publication by The Economist. The balance of power may also change depending on the results of the upcoming presidential elections in the United States, experts are sure. Election statements by one of the main candidates, Donald Trump, indicate that if he wins, the White House may abandon relations with current partners. Reported by Larissa Zubenko, Pavostermach, UATV News.